my name is Dr. Carly Axford and I'm the founder of the Spinal Flow Technique. I want to speak today about the seven gateways of the spine and the assessments that we do to determine if there's a spinal blockage that's present in the spine and the nervous system. So if you have a look at the spine here, this is the spine, we've got the top through here and we've got the bottom and if we hold it up this way you can see the front and the back. So the seven gateways of the spine are seven different regions of the spine. And so we can start at the bottom. If we start at the bottom with the coccyx, the tailbone, that's called the base gateway. And you know, the tailbone, when the tailbone tucks under, it shows us that the body's in fight flight. So we've got a specific gateway assessment that we can actually do with our clients to see if their body's in fight flight. The next gateway that we have is called the foundation gateway, which is the sacrum, the ilium. This is the foundation gateway through here. Pelvis, the foundation gateway is number one cause of pain, like back pain, sciatica, is from a blockage in the foundation gateway. So I teach my, my students and my practitioners how to do an assessment on that foundation gateway to determine if there's a spinal blockage in there. But I also show them how to correct any pelvic dysfunction or any distortions using sacral bolsters. So it's a beautiful way to correct the pelvis and to release spinal blockages in the pelvis. We do an assessment for the lumbar spine. So the lumbar spine through here, so your low back area, that's the power gateway. Often when there's a blockage in the power gateway, it can cause you know, digestive issues, reproductive issues, and you know our spinal flow practitioners learn a technique that they can assess to see if there are spinal blockages in the lumbar spine um, and also see what posture is associated with that. As we come higher, we're looking at the center gateway, that's the thoracic spine, it's your chest area, the heart area. And often you can get blockages and changes of posture. Sometimes if we're trying to hide our heart, we can have that kyphosis, that forward bending of the spine. Other times we're looking at protecting our heart, it might be a scoliosis, like a sideways movement of the spine. But the spinal flow practitioners learn, and if you're interested in studying with me and learning the spinal flow technique and doing my certification program, you will learn how to assess these different gateways to see if there's blockages in there. As we go higher, the lower part of our neck is the passion gateway. The reason I call it the passion gateway is that's passion, it's our voice, it's our expression in our life. So that's the passion gateway. Often if there's a blockage in there, it means our heart, our heart down here is not connecting to our brain. So when we've got freeness and no disconnection and no blockage through there, it means that we can live life through our heart as opposed to our mind. So passion often is our voice expression. It's also the area of the throat, thyroid, and the nerves that come out to the upper extremity, shoulder, elbow, and hands. Up the top, we've got our pause gateway. One of the assessments we do for the pause gateway to see if there's a blockage is just turning our head one side and the other to see if we've got 90 degrees. Often, if there's one side that's got less movement, it can be indicative of a blockage in that area. And then up the top of the cranium is the awakened gateway. So there's a little short summary of the seven gateways of the spine. And know that every single gateway, we have an assessment, we have a posture, we can feel to see if there's blockages and there's symptoms associated with each of them. And that's what you'll learn with the spinal flow technique and the certification program. You learn to understand the spine, the nervous system, the gateways, how to see what's going on, how to do assessments, how to really relate what your client's feeling to what you felt and how to be an incredible practitioner and most importantly, help people heal.